In this video, we are going to see Siemens QMX1.M34H Room Unit Device Overview and Technical Specifications. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube Channel. Device Overview The room unit consists of the following parts. This room unit has a front module with an LCD display, no backlight. It has three buttons for interactive operation. Mounting frames are integrated into the back of room units. The room unit can be used in combination with DXR1 room automation stations only. The room unit with RJ45 connector can be connected to the DXR1 room automation stations via RJ45 cable. The cable transmits measured value and set value of the room temperature and occupancy status to the room automation station. Technical data, sensing element type is NTC10K, operating temperature is 0 to 50 degrees Celsius, degree of protection of housing to IECEN is IP30, operating voltage is DC 12 to 26.4 volt, 5 milliamps. Color, QMX1.M34H is signal white. RAL 9003, QMX1.M34H1BSC is black, weight, net weight is 87.9 grams, gross weight is 145.3 grams. The room unit is maintenance free. Dimensions, height 86.2 mm, length 86.2 mm, depth 17 mm. This table displays room unit types product numbers, stock numbers, and descriptions. Operation, this is actual room temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit, this is settings option, this is adjustable room temperature set point, Celsius or Fahrenheit and absolute or relative, this is temperature offset value, this is room occupancy indicator, occupancy status change over via button, note. User accessible values and settings will vary based on overall system configuration. Setting parameters. Temperature unit, press the round button for 10 seconds, the settings icon is appears. If the symbol Celsius appears, press left button or right button to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Absolute or relative set point, press round button again, the set point mode absolute appears. Press left button or right button to switch between absolute and relative. Temperature offset. Press round button again. The minimum temperature offset value appears. Press left button or right button to adjust offset value. Note, the room unit will always save the current settings and exit parameter setting mode if there is no interaction for 5 seconds. Restore factory settings. Press left and right button simultaneously for 10 seconds, the default home page appears. Interfaces, communication with actuating DXR1 via Modbus protocol, customized interface is RJ45, shield CAT 5E, wiring length is 30 meter. Pin 1 is ground, pin 1 is connected to negative pole of power supply. Pin 2 is not connected. Pin 3 is Modbus 8 plus. Pin 4 and 5 is plus 12 to 26.4 volt. Pin 4 and 5 need to be connected to positive pole of power supply simultaneously. Pin 6 is Modbus B minus. Pin 7 and 8 is not connected. QMX1.M34H and QMX1.M34H1 BSC acts as a Modbus server device using fixed communication parameters as below. Other data, temperature measurement accuracy is a plus minus 0.5 degree Celsius at 25 degree Celsius, a plus minus 1 degree Celsius maximum. Over voltage category to IECEN is class 3. The device can be cleaned with freely available, solvent-free cleaning agents. Do not use mechanical aids, coarse sponges or similar materials. Mounting The device is suitable for mounting with conduit box. Recommended height is 1.50 meter above the floor. Do not mount the devices in recesses, shelves, behind curtains or doors, or above or near heat sources. 
avoid direct sunlight, seal the conduit box or the installation tube if any, as air currents can affect sensor readings, adhere to allow ambient conditions. Standards Directives and Approvals, EU Conformity, CE, RCM Conformity, UK Conformity, Environmental Compatibility. Mechanical Ambient Conditions, Transport is Class 2M2, Operation is Class 3M2. Climatic Ambient Conditions, Transport is Class 2K3, Temperature is minus 25 to 70 degrees Celsius. Air humidity is 5 to 95 percent. Operation is class 3K5, temperature is minus 5 to 50 degrees Celsius. Air humidity is 5 to 95 percent. Well, I hope, this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our videos. Have a great day.